Hey guys, today I'm going to sit down and give you an updated review on the auto stick ear correctors. As you know, maybe, hopefully, I did a first video of my demo and first impressions where I showed you how I put them on and kind of just obviously gave you my first impressions of how I liked them. So I've had a little while since I filmed that video and have kind of been playing around with them. My cat is going crazy in the background. I'm sorry if you hear her playing. I, yeah, have had a chance to play around with them and really test them out. So I figured I would do an updated review for you guys. It's been requested and I just thought it would be a good idea. So I'll kind of walk you guys through what went down when I was going through my first pack. This is actually my second pack that was graciously sent to me by Autostick. Thank you so much, Autostick. This isn't like sponsored or anything. I'm not getting paid to talk about them. I literally just got some free product from them because I reached out and let them know how much I love their product. And they said if I put Spanish subtitles on my video because they're based out of a Spanish country, that they would send me some free samples. So I was like, heck yes, I'll do that, of course. So. The first pair that I wore um, was the pair that I put on during my first video. I went ahead and did a first impressions and a demo, so I <laughs> read the instructions and just did it right then without really knowing anything about it. My first impression was amazing. I thought they did so well, um, but that night, actually like six-ish hours later, my ears were pretty sore. So I ended up taking them off that night and they claimed to last up to three days. So I was a little disappointed that night, like hoping that my ears could actually handle them. However, I pushed on and Pair two lasted me three days. I was so shocked and happy. By day three, my ears were a little bit sore, but since they you know, claimed to last up to three days, I figured that was totally normal. And I was like, okay, cool. Took them off on day three and you know, didn't worry about it. And then the third pair I actually messed up on. I accidentally squeezed one of the auto sticks together. Just one of them, like not the pair, but just one of them I accidentally like squeezed together and they are so sticky. Like the adhesive on those things are so good that it did not come back apart. Okay, it did come back apart. Like I eventually pried it back apart, but they weren't really sticky anymore after that. That was disappointing because I just had to throw that one away due to my own stupid mistake and had to take one out of the fourth pair, leaving me with one left. So yeah, that third pair that I used, um, we actually traveled and they worked so amazing. I like had my hair up in a high ponytail, didn't even feel self-conscious about my ears at all. Day two, one of my ears was like really sore. So I'm assuming I just didn't put it on correctly because I think I think it was my left ear was like so sore and then my right ear was totally fine. So I took the left one off because it was actually like really sore. So obviously I did something wrong, but the one on the right ear that I left on lasted six days, like double the time that it claims to. It lasted six days without any problems whatsoever. I was showering and I felt it coming a little bit loose. So I ended up just taking it off even though my ear didn't hurt at all. And luckily it was on my right ear. So as you can see, I have a lot less hair on this side than on this side. I usually don't have any issues covering my ear on this side because I have so much more hair. But on this side, my ear always pokes through. It's just how it is. When that one was lasting, I could get away with just having all of my hair on this side with it kind of just tucked back behind this ear. And I have absolutely been loving wearing my hair like this ever since I discovered that. I'll kind of give you guys a comparison. So that's what it looks like when I have my hair all the way pulled over to the other side without an auto stick. And I just feel like my ear is just like yelling at people. <laughs> like it's like, hello, here I am. And it's just not the look I'm going for, really. Um, if you don't feel self-conscious about your ears at all, then, you know, more power to you. I envy you because I just cannot get over my ears. I don't know what the hell it is that makes me so self-conscious about them. I mean, other than the fact that they stick out like a foot on the top. But <laughs> so many people tell me that they don't even notice them and that they don't even consider my ears sticking out to them, which is just, I don't know if it makes me feel good or bad because it honestly makes me feel a little crazy. Corey already says I have like body dysmorphia because I'm so hard on my appearance. But um, yeah, when people say that they don't even think my ears are big, I'm like, what, what do I actually see in the mirror? Like, I don't understand. So this summer I meant to, you know, go out and do a bunch of summer things, like go swimming with them. I never got to test these going swimming because I didn't go swimming this summer, which is freaking crazy to me. Summer's like gone now. And in case you guys didn't know where I live, Oregon is basically on fire. Like there is smoke everywhere. Now we're going into fall and <laughs> I am probably not gonna be wearing my hair 
up off of my neck and shoulders all the time like I would be if it was summer. But I absolutely love the option of just having all my hair out of my face on one side, just have it like out of the way but still down because I usually have like my hair done and I don't like to just throw it up. So if I just kind of use them one at a time and have them sticking my one ear down that is showing, that will make them last so much longer. For some reason, this ear doesn't get as sore as my left ear, so that would work out perfect. By the way, this is what they look like. They're just tiny little adhesive stickers. It has like a little tiny rubber thing, so it's super flexible. They're not going to be super stiff and sore behind your ear at all. It still lets your ear bend and flex. It's just, you know pinned back in a way. When I was talking to Diana from the Auto Stick team, she did want to have me share some like tips with you guys because apparently there were some things I did wrong in my last video. So I'm gonna share with you guys what she shared with me. I kind of wrote down what she told me here. She did say that if you don't have practice with your placement, such as your first time, your second time, whatever, you definitely should get another person to help you so that you don't put it on wrong because if you do put it on in the wrong spot, then you know you could cause damage, a lot of soreness that's not necessary, that kind of thing. That's probably why my ears were kind of sore six hours after the first time I used them because I didn't get any help. I feel like I did put them in pretty much the right spot, so I feel like maybe your first time is just sore. I don't really know, but yeah, definitely get help from somebody else if you can, just your first couple times until you can get comfortable with feeling where they should be sitting. Which brings me to my next thing. She said that you should not put them right where your ear folds against your head, like right in your ear fold, because that will 100% cause discomfort. You should put them as far out as you can with them still being hidden. So basically I have mine like right here. It also is just way more effective. If you put it right here, then the top of your ear like mine does is still gonna be sticking out like that. If you put it like back here, it's gonna just kind of squish your ear instead of actually hold the top down. But if you put it up here, you know, where it's supposed to go and hold it down, then your ear is just gonna stay down. That's just how it works. She also said to not touch the adhesive with your fingers. I watched their demo video and even the person in the video did touch the very ends with their fingers like I did. But I think when she said that she was referring to the fact that I took all of the stickers off and then stuck it on instead of, you know, taking one side off, sticking it on and then taking the other side of the stickers off. It's so much easier to not touch it when you have another person helping you because they can see behind your ear, obviously. You can't and they can go ahead and stick you know, one side down and then peel the stickers off of the other side. I haven't personally tried it because taking all the stickers off and sticking them on has worked perfectly fine for me. I just make sure to only touch the very edge of the um, corrector and to not touch the actual adhesive sticky parts. You guys know how stickers work. And then she also just wanted me to mention that you should clean the area behind your ear with alcohol. In my first video I just took a makeup wipe that was already used and <laughs> cleansed the area and then stuck it on and it seemed to work totally fine but she did specify that you should use rubbing alcohol to go ahead and disinfect and just completely clean the area of any debris and dirt and everything. Also obviously let the alcohol dry before sticking them on. Just thought I would clarify. And yeah that's all she had as far as construction criticism for me after watching my video so I feel like I did pretty good for just following their really simple instructions without any you know research I didn't really research the product I only went by what my friend told me and bought them and then tried them so overall after using them three and a half times I still really love them I think they are totally worth it you know if you are broke like me if you kind of have to disperse your money for important things I don't really think that you need to buy these I don't think they're a necessity I feel like they're totally worth it for special occasions if you're going on a trip and you don't want to have to worry about throwing your hair up and you know your ears showing or whatever then yeah get them they will change everything because you can just put your hair behind your ears without even worrying about it and it's the weirdest feeling if you grew up with big ears you totally know what I'm talking about it's the weirdest feeling being able to just throw my hair behind my ear and not feel weird about it it's it's still so weird for me. I do plan on continuing to use these and letting you guys know how I end up feeling about them in the long run. These are like so addicting. Once you get the feeling of being able to just show your ears without feeling self-conscious, it's such an addicting feeling. Like it's kind of bad, but at the same time, it's just great that something like this exists. So I don't know if I could come up with anything better than these. I think these are pretty much the best route you can go for temporary fixes for holding your ear back. I feel like the only other temporary fix that 
you know, I have found anyway is the tie tricks that I've shown you guys in my other videos. And beyond that, I don't really know there's much else you can do besides surgery. As far as like temporary fixes, this product is so amazing and I definitely recommend at least trying it. The price point really isn't that bad. I mean, they're around $25 for an eight pack. So what's that like six ish dollars per use? So I mean, I spend that much on McDonald's for lunch, like. Obviously I'm not gonna go buying them when I'm broke, but like when I come into a little bit of extra money, I'm totally gonna pick these up like any chance that I get just so I have them. Cause it's not like they go bad either. You can just store them and they're like good forever. Definitely let me know if you guys ended up buying them after watching my demo review video, because I just wanna know how they work for other people. I know some people have like different ear flexibilities and all that. Mine are really flexible. So I wonder if that has kind of helped me with these things, if they do work really well because my ears are really good at, you know, flexing. I don't know, but <laughs> let me know how they work for you if you end up getting them. I have to say, I just love this little big eared community that we've created here on my channel. I just, it feels so nice to not feel alone. And just to know that a lot more people have this insecurity than I even thought. A lot more people have ears that stick out than I thought. It's something I never notice on other people. They're just ears. It's really not a big deal. Look at Dumbo. Look how cute Dumbo is. Okay. And he has ears that can make him fly. I wish we could have ears that made us fly. Like. What the hell? Anyways, my point being, just try not to care so much about what other people think. I mean, I know it's really easy to say and really hard to do, but you know, I've gotten a lot of shitty comments in my life about my ears and ultimately that's what's made me want to hide them is just to avoid those shitty comments. And as I get older, I feel like people just don't comment on them as much, maybe because I'm really good at hiding them now, but <laughs> who really knows? Everybody has their insecurities. Some just are a little more apparent than others. <laughs> But honestly, we should just focus on building each other up and not focusing on our flaws. I know this is kind of hypocritical for this video because I'm sharing a product that is literally about hiding your flaw, but I hope you guys get my point. It's completely normal to care about your outward appearance, but I'm just saying, try not to let it get you down too much. If there's something that you don't like about yourself, just focus on ways that you can accept it or improve it and make yourself happy. Cause that's honestly the most important thing is your happiness. To be able to hide my ears when I feel the need to makes me happy. So that's why I'm trying to promote it to other people just in case it's gonna help your happiness as well. I just love this product so much and I cannot wait to continue to use these. Definitely leave your comments below if you have any questions for me or, you know, just want to chat. I'm totally down. <laughs> I try to reply to everybody in the comments if you haven't noticed. So I hope you guys have the best day ever and I'll see you really soon in my next video. Bye.